the following announcement has been paid by friend. Love friend, obey friend. Welcome my brothers and sisters of the YouTube anime community. I'm here today to save your soul. Woo, hallelujah. I'm here today to spread the word of the one true savior, the friend. So what I want you to do, my brothers and sisters, is put your hands on your laptop screens, put your hands on your television screens and say, I love the friend, I will obey the friend. Hi guys, it's the Walking Zero Zoo Dead here, king of the anime and manga boxes and a lover of all things geeky here on YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest seinen mangas ever written, and that is Noki Uesawa's 20th Century Boys. Yo, this is an absolute masterpiece. It's one of the best mangas I've ever read in all my life. The basic plot, it follows Kenji and a group of his friends when they were like kids who created this symbol as well as this like little group and this book called the Book of Prophecy. And then we follow them later on in life as they're like adults and Kenji's like a wa washed up old like rock star. He's now like looking after his sister's like kid and uh, one of his friends winds up committing suicide and that suicide is somehow connected to this cult leader called Friend who is slowly influencing and taking over Japan and then we know where it skips into the future that there's going to be like a post-apocalyptic virus that's going to destroy everything and Kenji and his friends are the only ones that can save the world and that it's like a rush to find out who Friend is. Taking its title from the 1973 hit single by one of Nokia Sour's favourite bands, 20th Century Boys is a sprawling, complicated work. It's all over the place like a mixed up puzzle, waiting to be put back together again. Its plot spans from the Apollo moon landing of 1969 to the near future of 2018. Its narrative bounces back and forth between a robust, ever-expanding cast of characters. Beyond proving himself as a masterful plot writer, Uesawa does something rare in having his characters age. The reader gets to see Kenji and his friends as kids, all energetic and enthusiastic looking forward to the future. We also get to see them as adults in 1997 trying to reconnect with their childhoods to understand the impending danger of the cult leader and how he associates with the group of friends. The humour of the manga is effortless and honest. There's lots of like booby jokes and jokes about porno mags. It's all in good fun and innocent. You feel like the characters really are a good group of old friends. You care about the individuals before the disaster strikes. There is a real cinematic quality to 20th Century Boys, which is more than just the scale of the story, but in the way in which the chapters, the pages and the panels on the page are ordered, going quickly back and forth, building tension and mystery. Small details from the first few volumes show themselves to be essential in later chapters. The whole thing plays out as one exuberant thrill ride. I love the mystery and tension that this manga builds. You know you've met the friend somewhere in the story, and yet like Kenji's friends, you don't know who the friend is. It's a race against time to save the world. And another theme that I really love about this manga is how important music is, how important music is to people, and how, how music brings people together and changes the world. Thanks for watching the video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Now in the comment section down below, I want to know from you guys out there, what are your thoughts on Noki Uesawa's 20th Century Boys? I also want to know, who are your favourite characters from the manga? If you enjoyed the video, please give it the thumbs up, share it around, subscribe, click that notification bell, and help me reach my ultimate goal of 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. May the sun never set on the British Anime Empire.